Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to Jacked episode 25. Uh, my bad, haven't done this in a while. I was having some issues with the mic. And I might still be. We'll find out if this video actually goes live. Uh, but yeah, do see push day coming in. Shoulders, triceps, um, chest. We'll take you guys through it. Uh, basically, a little life update. Last two weeks, went on two bachelor parties. One to Dominican for six days. And then one was just in Toronto for like two and a half days. Uh, we did a bunch of shit there. But yeah, both trips was really fun. Um, I got a sick tan. Didn't eat the best, per se. Um, still was active. Kept my protein high. Got protein every single meal. And uh, kept movement, you know, kept moving a lot. Especially, like, uh, this Toronto one. We did paintballing, laser tag, and uh, go-karting, and, like, a bunch of shit. So we were moving quite a bit. And even the auto show, right? So we moved a lot. Um, and that's the biggest thing I, I look for is, like, if I'm having experiences outside, and if I'm not, like, a competition prep or, like, a really, really hard cut, um, I'll just be like, yo, let me experience new things, man. Experiencing stuff probably trumps everything, especially experiencing things with people you love and care about um so you have more fun you have you know enjoyment and i just like feeling good so that's why i still focus on keeping my protein high getting some fruits and veggies at some meals um keeping my movement good but then i go experience random foods too you know like we had uh yeah we had like symposium cafe we went to denny's we went to dominican have buffet every single meal like three four meals a day it was crazy um yeah so like yeah, enjoy yourself, um, but just keep the protein, veggies, fruits, and uh, movement still somewhat integrated. And if you can get a workout and get a workout in, like Dominican six-day trip, so I got like three workouts at the resort. And then this Toronto one, I got, I got one workout on the first day in the morning before I went. And then after that, we're chilling. But um, other than that, training update-wise, still doing five days, push-pull uh, legs, and then a push-pull. Um, chest, shoulders focus right now. And uh, calories-wise, 3,100 calories training days, so 350, 370 carbs-ish. Um, 230 protein, 70 fat, and then about 250 carbs and 60 fat on non-training days. So it's lesser carbs. But yeah, I'm ready to get more structured again, more routine. And I always crave more routine, especially after I get off my routine for a bit. Um, even though I had fun, I just crave routine quite a bit. So I'm excited to get back in it. And uh, I'll take you guys to a juicy push day if everything goes well. Okay? Okay. Enjoy. See you in the gym. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. What's good? Uh, so... Movement number one, we're doing wild lateral raises. If you saw previous episodes, I start with this every single time, at least on the first push day. Main reason, get the shoulder blades moving. Um, as long as your shoulder blades, scaps can move nicely, the rest of the push day should go nice. Um, also, secondly, my shoulders are my big growth focus for this um, bulking season. So starting off with shoulders, tells your brain, trying to get some juicy shoulders, okay? So let's get some juicy shoulders. Um, think about creating a Y. I like having the cables right above knee height right here and then stop right here shoulder ends and then create that Y fully three sets eight to 15 reps you can also follow this program on the trying to get jacked app it's 100% ad check out the app updated every eight weeks let's go Nice warm up. Um, two more main sets, eight to twelve reps, or ten to fifteen reps. We got so uh, second movement, uh, low to high cable flies. You don't want the cable to be too close to your body. You're gonna get all front delts and biceps. So you want a little bit separate here, so you have a little bit of space. We can get that full chest stretch, right? Chest ends all the way here, and then squeezes right here, right? So I have it right underneath my hips I'm gonna take a couple of steps forward stabilize yourself take an inhale stretch pause stretch pause stretch pause <clears throat> Think about pushing in the inside of the hand. Ooh. 
Ooh, there's two sets here, eight to 12 reps. After the lateral raises, gets your shoulders, chest all warmed up. And uh, after this, we'll do a hammer press, a couple heavy reps, sets, and uh, yeah, get some juicy chest. So uh, third exercise, um, hammer strength press. I know I've been saying it's an incline, but this is more like a flat with slight incline, just because I shimmy forward a little bit, so it becomes a bit more inclined. Um, as I said previously, the yoga blocks are here. Since this machine is really hard at the bottom, and we're the weakest at that stretch position, it doesn't make sense to pull off in that uh, position. You can probably hurt your shoulder, right? So yoga blocks help with that. And then we just send it as this is hardest at the top. Throughout the motion, it should feel fairly easy. And at the top, you'll get the hardest. So maybe for six-ish reps here, um, let's see if I beat my last week. When I bitch out, come on. I'm fucking strong, man. Let's go. Oh, fucking juicy. What kind of that 7.5? It'll be my last week. I'll take it. Jack. Yeah, so uh, fourth exercise, low incline dumbbell press, one set, six to eight, um, then one set, eight, 10 to 12. So this is the heaviest I've gone in a little minute. Um, aiming for six reps. We should get six, because, you know, I'm pretty jacked. All right, lock in. Easy, come on, bitch. Let's go. One. lost a bit of focus um, one of my sides started to wobble slightly so I got five supposed to get six I'll get six next time um, I'm happy with that can't really uh, complain last week I got 90 for seven so I should have probably stayed at 90 till I got eight but uh it's not pretty jacked so went for it but 95 for five so I'll probably stay at 95 for three-ish weeks and then uh, we'll try to up the weight from there juicy I'm gonna go 75 for uh, 10 to 15. Yeah, so I ended off with a single arm lateral raise and tricep push down. Um, three sets, 10 to 15 failure with a drop set each. And now I'm ending off with some abs. So ab rollout first. If you can't do the normal ab rollout, try with a barbell so you have a better shoulder range of motion with that. Or just start off with like planks, then work your way up to like uh, shoulder tap planks so you get some core stability while you're being dynamic in the movement. Um, and then transfer over to the ab rollout, okay? Um, or you can do eccentrics where you fall all the way down. And you just get back up using your hips and then you do it again you fall back and you come back up okay so three sets here 10 to 15 i've already done two sets i'm gonna do one more set 10 to 15 and i'm gonna do hanging knee tuck super set and uh that's it maybe a little bit posing and we'll go from there okay let's get it
Hang your knee tucks. All right, so uh, um, last, I just superset it with the ab rollout. Hang your knee tucks. Main thing here is let the pelvis move all the way up so you actually contract the low abs instead of just the hip flexors, okay? Last set, uh, try not swinging too much. Stabilize. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much the push, push day. I'm going to do a little bit of posing and then I'll meet you guys in the car. I still got a good amount of shape and leanness. This low, the low abs right here that take a little bit of the fluff right now. But um, next, pretty much 10, 12 weeks, I will put on a little bit of fluff, part of the game. I'm trying to grow these shoulders, a little bit upper chest and a little bit upper back. And uh, yeah, let's see how we're looking. Actually, a lot of rear delts and definitely need rear delts. So my shoulders look a bit more capped. Okay, so do some posing. I think I should smile like this if I do a show. Hey guys. That's pretty the physique posing. Um, now let's do some fun real posing. So I'll do start with start with front relaxed, the bicep, push the hips back, spread the feet a little bit, side chest. There we go. Transition. Lat spread. Leg back. Double back bicep. Ooh. I don't think I did a front lat spread, so. Here it is. Jack. Ooh. That's the push there, so you can in the car. You guys, so that was a push day. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. It's a little bit gloomy outside now, um, raining like crazy, and uh, it's funny, right? Sometimes, like, it's sunny, so we're like, I feel happy. If it's rainy, it's cold, but I go, oh, I don't feel too good, I feel sad. And uh, science literally shows, like, yes, if you don't have enough sunlight in your system or, like, you know, the weather is kind of down, it can lead to feeling sadder, depression, all those things. Um, so understand it's completely normal. But once you know that, you can act on it, right? You can be like, okay, yo, it's just like the weather that's making me feel a certain way. Uh, maybe today is a day where I get all like the admin stuff done. Something that's like not too analytical where I need too much focus, right? Um, or you kind of just like, shut up. I'm going to stop being a bitch. I'm going to get my shit done either way. You know, so like it's the way you approach it. And as long as you're aware why you're feeling a certain way, you can act on it much more uh, better per se. Like for me, for example, like if I know, okay, um, like today I got up at like 4.30 because I train a guy at 5 a.m. And so I'm like, okay, it's a little bit tiring day. Um, I'm going to get my workout at 11 a.m. And by the time I get home today, like 2, 2.30 p.m., even already like started at 4 a.m., right? So it's already been a good amount of time, like I'm saying like eight hours. So I'm going to go home, I'm gonna eat food. I'm going to chill out a little bit. I'm not going to put something drastic. And I just have like some client calls from 4 till 7, right? Once I'm done that, I'm like, I'm not going to do anything. 
Um, and I'm not going to give myself too many analytical tasks because I'm not going to be too productive just because I know for a fact I'm tired. Um, that's why I got all my shit done in the morning. I got my check-ins, programming, things like that. Um, I had to come up with some brainstorms, some content ideas. I got that shit done. So I know for a fact ahead of time, today might be a day where I'm a little bit more tired. If you know ahead of time, okay, like it's going to be a little bit one of those days. You can plan a little bit better in terms of the tasks you choose to do. Um, or, you know, not all of us have all of us has the lug, have the luxury to choose our tasks at hand, right? So you can choose how you feel about certain things. So whenever, like, the weather gets shitty or, like, I don't feel like doing certain things, I go to gratitude. I'm like, okay, yo, what else could I be possibly doing? Um, or, like, what else in, or, like, two, three years ago did I wish to be doing what I'm doing right now? And usually it's like, yeah, bro, it's... This is pretty sick. Like, whatever I'm doing right now, like, yo, it's, it's pretty nice. And if it's not, reverse engineer it. How can you change it, right? That's where you have to take action. But if you don't become aware of it and don't take any action towards it, nothing's going to really happen, right? So, okay, I don't know how that relates to the push day, but hope you guys enjoy that push day. Um, I hit some PRs on my incline hammer press or a flat press, whatever you want to call it, um, incline dumbbell. I don't need a PR, but I hit higher numbers for this specific block. And, um, yeah, I felt overall juicy. Abs still look like they have some sort of shape. And, um, yeah, I'm uh, excited to keep this shape while trying to grow into something jacked. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm excited how things are progressing. I'm um, excited to share the journey. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that talk. Have a sick weekday, whatever it is you guys watch this. I'm also, please check out the Trying to Get Jacked app if you haven't. Um, the program I just did. Or the workout is just on, on the app as well, so you can follow along, follow the videos, follow the tempo, follow the sets and reps, all that shit. Um, follow the Discord chat, two Zoom calls a week, Tuesday and Thursdays. Um, so reach the app if you haven't. First 14 days are free. So, yeah, come check it out and hope you get jacked. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. Yo, come on, bro. I got something. I have no glutes. <laughs> okay. Sick. Thank you guys and uh, the four people watching, comment below. Let <laughs> no, me more of the four people. They're going to be more because I'm here. Because you're here. Like 400 people here. <laughs>